Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing ATER, CEI, TRVI, VERU, ETEK, NUGN, NWBO, and RVVTF. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for information and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button, little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. So go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks you're covering. These are day and swing trade short term momentum penny stock alerts. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, it be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero. It will not work. And since we release all of our profiles at the opening bell, text messaging is the fastest way to get our alerts. You can also click the red download ebook to get the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Uh, well, we said we had an Easter present at the opening bell for subscribers on Thursday, and boy, did we. Uh, after opening at 0.0484, it dipped to $0.04 cents and then rocketed to 0 0.088. Uh, for gains of 119%. The stock still closed up 50%. We will have more updates for subscribers uh, that got that special alert for Easter. We've just been totally on fire. Uh, our other OTC alert from the week, from earlier in the week, opened at 10 cents, finished on Friday at 13 cents for 30% gains. We had two NASDAQ alerts, uh, one from uh, last week, uh, opened at $1.51, closed the week at $2.25, up 49%. Another NASDAQ play from last month, uh, dipped as low as $1.23, closed at $2.05 for 66% in potential gains. We've just been absolutely on fire. We were gonna, be, we are gonna be updating subscribers more on these plays, plus also new plays. We're constantly running screens, looking for the best plays for our subscribers. And boy, have we been delivering! We are so happy for our subscribers that are banking these profits. If you are not a subscriber already, make sure you are by going to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up with your email and your mobile number. And as we said, the best part is it is totally free to sign up. If you don't like the content, uh, you are free to unsubscribe at any time. With that out of the way, let's dive into today's uh, topic of conversation. Uh, first up is ATER. Uh, we've been talking about this all this month. And uh, you look here and it's up 135%. Uh, just been absolutely on fire. You go over here uh, into the magnifying glass, type in A-T-E-R, and you get uh, our full coverage. Um, I also post my videos so you can see uh, what we've been talking about and it's all here uh, talking about uh, ATR in these videos. So uh, go and check out what I've been saying. It is up 135% this month. Uh, another big winner. Congrats to all that banked on ATR. Next up is CEI, uh, our friend uh, Trollback. He's been all over this one. 
uh, he says C-E-I-V-K-I-N. I have a pretty clear cut thread that will explain the whole merger with details. When you finish reading it, you will know exactly why this is one of the biggest mergers to take place in a long time for small caps. Enjoy your weekend. It will be posted soon. So you can follow him at uh, his Change it to troll back, which is a great, uh, great name. Uh, he's uh, he's at laid back on Twitter, so he is a must follow uh, on Twitter. Uh, next up is T R V I, guys. I've been talking about this one since eighty seven cents. Go over here and you just type in T R V I in the magnifying glass, and you can see what we've been saying. Uh, about any particular stock, uh, w whether we've covered it or not, it's all right there in the magnifying glass. On March 2nd, I started talking about TRVI, and March 2nd, it opened at 0.87 cents, uh, dipped as low as 78 cents, and we closed the week at 328 in just 45 days. Guys, I don't know what more I can do. Uh, if this is not your definition of a winner, I don't know what is. Uh, just we've been totally, we've been absolutely on fire here at insiderfinancial.com, on our YouTube channel, on the site insiderfinancial.com, and on our special alerts for subscribers at signup.insiderfinancial.com. Next up, guys, is VRU, uh, our biotech analyst, Chris Sandberg. He had a pre-market article on VRU on April 13th. You go over here to April 13th. Guys, this was pre-market. It opened at $10.55, dipped to $9.94, rocketed to $0.14 cents on on Thursday, we saw 1750. So this is 75% potential gains in two days. Again, absolutely on fire. Don't know, don't know what more we can do for you guys here at insiderfinancial.com. Next up is ETEK. Uh, this one is looking strong pre-merger. Uh, they're, they're getting it has only just a $19 million market cap. Uh, Emergent LLC has been uh, working on this one. Um, they've been giving updates on their Twitter at Emergent LLC. That is at E-M-E-R-G-E-N-T LLC. Uh, they said here uh, on March 30th, a word to ETEK shareholders, it's going to be okay. It's 100% normal for buyers to have last minute commitment issues arising at the least opportune times. You're not being kept in the dark. They're doing everything here uh, on above board, uh, updating everyone, and they're also involved with NUGN. So we're seeing this move here in uh, um ETEK, and then you look at NUGN and look at this big winner. So, uh, you know, these guys know what they're doing. Uh, Smart Money, uh, Berkshire Capital Group also has been talking about this one. Uh, NUGN merger is rock solid. At Emergent LLC has spent a long time on this for a reason. Beyond stoked to see what they bring into ETEK next. So again, uh, same group, they know what they're doing and uh, they have a track record of uh, stocks running. So uh, ETEK, N-U-G-N, uh, these are two names you need to get on your uh, radar uh, as reverse merger plays. Next up is NWBO. Uh, our analyst Jim Bloom had an article about uh, talking about NU, uh, NWBO. Also, he talked about IGEX, NICH, NUGN, and NWBO. But uh, what we stressing here on NWBO is the phase three trial results. So as he says here, um, NWBO is a smart investment, a long-term potential. The results of phase three will make all the difference, and that is correct. So we're just waiting for these phase three clinical trials to, to treat glioblastoma multiform brain cancer. So definitely uh, waiting on big news here. And, uh, you know, this one, when it dips, there is uh, accumulation. So uh, smart money has been accumulating NWBO. Uh, if the results are strong, this is a $10 stock. If not, you know the downside. So, uh, you know, it could get chopped in half uh, or possibly more, but it's a risk reward setup. 
and you know you just got to understand uh, this is the nature of small ta small uh, small cap biotech speculation it's a it's a, it's a rocky road but the risk rewards uh, you know the, in, in our opinion the rewards outweigh the risk if you are doing proper money management uh, last up is RVVTF. Uh, they've been out updating uh, uh, phase three clinical trials for their bucilamine in COVID-19. I've uh, been talking about this one on the channel. Uh, Smart Money was bought the dip at 12 cents. Uh, this one has been a double here uh, in in the last seven trading days. Um, this is one uh, you know need to keep on your radar screen. Uh, just made new 52-week lows and we've bounced off that. So uh, you know keep it on your radar screen to see uh, what's next for RVVTF. With that being said, I want to wish everyone a happy Easter, happy Passover. If you don't celebrate, at least uh, spend time with your loved ones. Uh, appreciate what you have. Um, markets, uh, you know, will always be there. Um, take the time wisely. We're still here working. We're running screens. We're looking for um, our next big alert uh, for our subscribers. So uh, we've just been absolutely on fire. So make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com. This way you do not miss any of these big plays. Like I said, I want to wish everyone a wonderful Easter, wonderful weekend, and I'll be coming live to you Monday after the bell with a new update. Thank you, everyone. Again, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.